What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Um, my name is Gus and this is Cali Rebuildables. So today I'm gonna continue working on the Chrysler 300. Like you saw in my previous video, um, I'm gonna continue you know, applying more Bondo, sanding and stuff like that, all that boring stuff. But I, I wanna show you guys behind me as you can see, I'm in the garage, but this is my my wife's um little shop section where she does all her all her um so called t-shirts, hats, mugs. Down here she's got her printers, sublimation printers, the white one, and vinyls. So um she has her own Etsy shop. She's been running it for maybe a couple of months now. So I'm gonna leave that in the video description. There might be something you might like, so check it out uh, and yeah let me continue the sanding on the Chrysler 300 before we continue with the sanding let me show you guys this is where we left off I did a little bit sanding a little sanding but um basically this is where we left off I, I added some primer because I, I don't know if you guys remember there was some some raw metal showing and stuff like that and I think it'll catch some rust pretty quick. So um, don't mind all that primer. That's just to protect the, the metal. I forgot a spot right here. But um, yeah, today I'm gonna give it a, one more sanding and then apply more Bondo. I'm gonna get my mask. Like always, remember to use a mask. Um, I'm gonna try to remember you guys every single time uh, you, got, you guys watch one of my videos because I think this is one of the most important things when you're working with cars, don't forget that. Okay guys, so check this out. This is where I'm at right now. I just sprayed it with some primer, some primer filler, but it's running and it's running because I did it pretty, pretty um thick. And the reason I did it thick is because I'm trying to fill the most I can in this section because I, if you can see right here, this section here besides the the um the running from the paint everything else seems to be okay this topper this top section so maybe i'll hit it with the sander but this time i'm gonna hit it with the sanding block I'm doing it by hand but right here i still gotta add more bondo because i went back down to the raw metal you can see and i had to hit it with the with the hammer in a little bit more because he was sticking out more because when i was hitting it from the bottom outside it went outside more than it had to so had to push it back in a little bit more as you can see right there so i have to refill this with 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 them okay guys so bondo. we got more bondo and right now i'm just using a blade to remove everything that's like this big piece instead of sending it down right now we're in, when it's pretty pretty soft you can get rid of it it's about like easier What's up guys, as you can see I'm driving the 300 and I'm headed to CHP here in town because um, I guess when I took it to the DMV to, to get the bin verification, I guess somebody took the label off the driver's side door that's got the bin and the barcode and stuff like that. So uh, what DMV told me is that supposedly that they only have two spots to check, which is the right here in the windshield and the driver's side door. And since the driver's side door um, label is missing, they sent me to CHP because CHP is authorized to check other places for the bin verifications for the bin. I mean, so that's what I'm gonna do right now, and see you guys in a bit. So here we are, CHP. See you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, just got out of the CHP. Uh, it took me about maybe 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. I can't remember exactly, but we are good. I'm heading I'm heading now to the DMV and hopefully hopefully get my place. Um, there's no reason why I shouldn't. Everything's okay. So um yeah, I got the braking lamp inspections passed, smog check passed, and uh, the beam verification. So there's nothing else holding me back from getting the plate. So like I said, I should be there. I'm, 
I'm gonna do one quick stop. After that, I'm heading to the DMV within maybe five minutes, and hopefully, I get my plates so I can wrap them and maybe do the white lettering. So, see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, finally got out of the DMV and I got my plates. So the car is legally on the road now. So I'm gonna continue working on it and hopefully I get a new car pretty soon, but we'll see. See you guys in a bit. Okay guys, quick little update on the quarter panel. As you can see, it's looking way better. I just added some blue paint. I don't know if you could notice it, just to see um, the reflection a little bit. And with the reflection, you get to see some of the imperfections. In this case, you can see some little dings right there, right there. But the rest of it looks okay. So um, I'm gonna leave it that way. I'm gonna leave those dings right there. I mean, the car is full of dings everywhere. So the quarter panel's gotta have some dings also. I'm So I'm gonna leave this section the way it is. I'm gonna continue working down here, down there, and a little bit more right here. So yeah, a lot of sanding guys. Okay guys, once again, all you know, the sun is going away, so it's kind of dark, so I'm going to call it a day. This thing is pretty much dry, not that much, so I'm going to just leave it overnight and tomorrow hit it one more time with the sander and then with the block. So it's pretty much done guys, the pain is was going to be more of a pain, but we'll see, nothing that can't be done. Okay guys, quick little update, this is where we are at. I just tossed some paint, some car paint, um, through a spray can, through a spray can. You should see the gloss like I told you previously, but um, looking good. Kinda the circle right there kinda, kinda looks a bit funny, but like I said, it's not perfect, not a pro, so trying to make the best I can with what I have and my knowledge, experience, which is not that much. So let me know what you guys think. So far, so good. At least that's what I think. Get $25 off your next purchase of Armor Shield 9 using promo code Cali25. Link in video description. up guys so at the moment I'm heading out to AutoZone to see if I find some black paint um, this car was painted at some point a while back you could tell there's some spots that 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 give it away so I really don't know the code so my best bet is gonna be a um, universal black or jet black so I'm gonna go to AutoZone to see if they have that um, duplicate colors perfect match um, universal black and see if I could get a couple cans of that and try it out before I even go ahead and purchase um a can or something like that because i really don't know the code that's the thing if i knew the code i would buy the quarter uh what's it called the, a quart or maybe half a gallon whatever but i don't know the code so the best thing i could do right now is test that universal paint and see how it looks so see you guys in a bit okay guys so i have the the paint and as you can see right here it says universal black Okay, so it's gonna replace uh, original factory color so that's what that color must be so but before I, I already touched it but I'm gonna go ahead and disinfect my hands and disinfect the spray cans because you never know so let me do that here's the Chrysler I just washed it looking pretty cool pretty clean and this is the side that we're working on so I'm gonna go ahead and spray the back maybe even this because this thing's you know ready I'm just gonna switch the car around because the wind is coming from that side and if I spray this way a lot of the spray is gonna go over that way so if I turn it around and I spray it from this side I'm gonna hit what I need to hit and whatever over spray is gonna go that way okay so one more thing that I'm gonna be needing is gonna be these drop cloth it's um nine feet by twelve and I bought this at Dollar Tree so um it's gonna help you guys a lot and plus it's pretty pretty cheap and they're pretty big so I'm gonna go ahead and tear a piece of these and put it where I need to 
and start spraying it. That's about as much as I'm gonna do. Two passes should be enough. Um, I'm also gonna do two passes on that side, on this section, unless I see sections that need more. But you know, the fender was black, the the doors are already black, so most of it's already black. So basically, it's gonna be a lot easier to cover. And the next thing is let this thing dry and hit it with some clear. And for the clear, I am gonna be using the 2K clear that I have left. I still have maybe like half a gallon or somewhere around here and also about one third of the of the activator also so that should be enough to clear this whole side um of course i still need to sand that section a little bit more down but like i said the main thing was testing out the the paint and honestly i'm gonna spray paint the whole car man it's gonna be the, it's the exact same color so and plus, you know, it's coming out even. Some sections like right there, that line, but it's not that bad. It's mainly doing okay. So that's why I'm gonna continue doing the same thing. That, the doors, the recorder panel, and clear it. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and clear this one, let this thing dry, and then continue working on that because, so, yep. It's gonna be a lot easier, but I do like the paint. I definitely recommend. I've always used this paint a while in a lot of my videos, so it's good paint. Plus it um it lays pretty smooth also so yeah definitely recommend it and plus it's cheap. I'm gonna let it dry of course there's some orange peel and a lot of small imperfections like things that fell somewhere around there but no worries the wet sanding will take care of that I just want to show you guys the gloss man look at that I need to buff the whole car now because that looks dull but not bad we're always doing it right here in front of my house looking good let me know what you guys think in the comment section like always that'll be pretty much it for the video i'm gonna continue recording but you won't see it till next week so yeah guys thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't and see you guys in the next one get 25 off your next purchase of armor shield 9 using promo code can 25